Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm here today to do a couple of little, yeah, junk journal pages, uh, incorporating some scraps, yeah. This is one that I'm making for my butterfly junk journal. I did promise to show you a few of these pages. I also promised to show you this one. I'm not going to because I've already done a tutorial on it. So I will link that below. Totally forgot I'd already made that. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I've got so many of them. Right, so here we have some I've made previously. That one's from two full sheets, but you can use sheets that aren't full to make those. This one was a full sheet with some scraps put onto it as pockets. And it's just really simple, really simple. So let's crack on. I've got a full sheet there. I've got one that's not folded already because I don't want this one to be a full A5 width for this journal because, yeah, this is going to be a bit nearer the middle. So I've got my A4 sheet here. I'm going to fold it to, I've decided there. Yeah, this is how wide this page is going to be. Let's, shall we fold it nicely? And then what we've got left there is going to end up being a pocket. I'm just going to take my two marks there see where to fold, where to fold it so as long as I've got my two end ones like that I'm happy yeah and there you go it doesn't matter if it's not perfect oh it's not bad and that is going to be one of my pockets yeah so I'm going to come in again it's going to be quite a small pocket this but yeah you can tuck teeny little things in can't you and I'm just going to fold that over again it can be difficult to get it straight when you're folding just the very edge, but it's a junk journal, do not matter, does it? I promise to be a bit more loose and relaxed on this project. <laughs> to me that translates, let a few things be wonky and don't stress about it. And then I'm going to fold that over again and that will be a little pocket. Right, I'm now just going to, let me grab, that's one of my, yeah, label sheets that I like to glue on ink on and do all sorts on. I'm going to glue that down there. I think it went even wonky as I glued it, but did weld end? No, I didn't hear any claps of thunder. I'm just going to straighten those wrinkles. This is because, you know, you know yourself, if you've ironed coffee dyed paper, for some reason it stretches at the edge, and I must have ironed these. Maybe it stretches just from coffee dyeing. I quite often just leave mine under a heavy book or, or stick them through laminator. Right, so that's going to be one teeny tiny pocket. I'm going to grab some scraps. You know like when you're making traveller's notebooks and you end up with all these size scraps? Yeah, this is a good way to use them up. So I'm just going to do the same with this one. Fold it again like that. Perfection is not what I'm looking for. go and then I'm gonna glue that it's just a way to use them all up yeah I desperately need to do some more tea dyeing again I'm getting very low on them that'll do me I'm a happy bunny so that then is gonna stick under there and we've got teeny pocket and a bigger pocket and then these pages these are the ones I sew all the way around yeah so let me I'm gonna grab I'm just gonna grab my tacky glue yes it can make paper go a bit wobbly but I'm gonna sew anyway and it's tea dyed paper and it's got wobbles on so I'm not too bothered let's hope it behaves and comes out yeah I am sewing as well, so I don't need lashings on, but a little bit does help, doesn't it? So I'll place this one. As long as it goes under the edge of there, I'm happy. Looks straightish. And then I'm going to glue this bit down. And then I'll run around the whole lot with the sewing machine. But before I do that, I'm going to put some pockets on the other side. So that's that. 
just adds a bit of interest to your journal, doesn't it? Right, a few more scraps. I've got a checked scrap there. I might put a checked pocket on. I think that'll look good. So, yeah, I'm going to... That's already got a fold in, hasn't it? So I'm going to take advantage of that fold and I'm going to make a pocket. Because this is checked, I think I better uh, cut along checks, aren't I? Grab my little paper trimmer. I'm not going to take the pocket right to the edge because this extra bulk from these pockets, it might interfere with how the journal is going to, yeah, open and close. So I'm going to do it just inside the size. Would be handy if I measured my page, yeah. I'll use this. My page measures. Ooh, it's just over four and three quarters. So I'm going to cut this down, I think, to just under four and three quarters. I want to cut a bit off each side because that's a bit damaged. So I'll cut that side first and then I'll cut this side for the final height. And if I make it, yeah, four and five eighths, yeah. But you make it whatever size you need to make it for your journal. So that will then be a nice big deep pocket on there. Yes, I'm going to like that. And then I'm going to put another one there. I think I'm going to have the other one in just regular coffee dyed. So we'll cut that to what? Four and five eighths. I'm going to do the same to this piece. Just so that same. And I'll, again, I'm going to cut a bit off each side just so I know the straight. Four and five eighths. There we go. And I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm just going to fold over one edge. Like so. Glue that with my glue stick. It just strengthens the edge of the pocket if you've got it double. It's not going to go ripping on you then. Just snip that off. So I'm going to glue that to that, like that. Come on glue, you can do it. Yeah, as I always explain, the only reason I have trouble getting my glue out is because 99 times out of 100 I don't put my pin back in and I'm constantly having to take my tops off to wash them. Terrible. Right, so that's that stuck on there. Then I'm going to stick the whole thing onto there, just inside. I like that look of it being not quite up to the edge. Let's just put a pin in that and see if I can get the dried up glue. There we go. Oh, we didn't do that one. Silly Billy. Glue that one down. The quiet you can go to town on these, you can make all sorts of pockets. I just like that look of the pocket already being there. I've gone and put way more glue than I needed on this while talking. I'll put a little bit on the bottom as well. <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna glue that one there. When this is sewn round, it'll be fabulous. So there we go, an interesting little page, yeah, that will be transformed when I sew around. I'm just going to, I'll do that now so you get the full effect. I'm not going to bring my sewing machine up and do the sewing. I am going to do it off camera because, yeah, I've got way too much rubbish on my desk. If I, if I zoom out, look, if it don't make you travel sick. Just look at all this rubbish. So I'm going to pause and I'll be back in two ticks. I am back. So there we have it. I've sewn straight stitch around the pocket bit. I went a bit zigzaggy around there. And then on the other one, I've done, I did them as individual pages. I did not quite a zigzag. I quite like it. Something different for a change. And then if you see there, we've got, that just needs neatening up at the top. And there we've got a nice little page that's just one sheet of coffee dyed paper and some scraps there 
I just think that's lovely. So, next one. I may have done this one before, but if I have, I can't find a video. Right, this is two sheets of coffee dyed paper, like you can see down through them. And it just makes a couple of pocket pages. Again, it's just something a bit more interesting for your journals. And because I don't have much checked or lined paper yet in that journal, I'm going to make this one out of some lined paper. Yeah. And some coffee dyed. I don't want to put two lines together because it could just look really weird. So let's grab a plain coffee dyed. Do I have one left? Oh my, do I have one left? I think I might have one in here. Do I need a full size one? What's that one? Oh, that one's gone a bit crinkly and mad. So, yeah, I'm going to use that mad crinkly sheet. See what we can do with it. Oops, glue falling over. Right, so, it's, it's just basically that. You make a... Fold. I might have tried this before on this sheet of paper, like that on one piece of paper, which then goes on to that piece of paper, yeah, and then let's fold part of this one over, it will make a pocket on the other piece, so that's your centre fold on that one, we've not made a centre fold yet on that one, but that is going to be, do you know, I've got my knickers in a twist with this, knickers in a twist. Sorry for that expression. Bring my page back. I'm really good, mate, forgetting how I've done stuff. Right, that's it. <laughs> Crackers. Uh, this, that's it. That's my centre. So that's going to be, <laughs> that's going to be that. Yeah. I've confused myself because that's too long. I'm going to cut some off. We really don't need that so long. It confuddled my brain. Don't take much, I tell you. Yeah, so we've got that one with a fold for a pocket, that one with a fold for a pocket, and we just need to decide where the centre's going to be. That's it. Oh, wowza, what am I like? Right, there we go. Yeah. So let's fold that one roughly there. Icky thump. Right, so that will be one page with a pocket. I think we might have to have it the other way around. I do like the wide line at the top. And that will be a page with a pocket. We're going to have to cut that page down as well because it will be too wide for the journal. Could we make that? No, that's too small to make into a pocket. So, yeah, we'll glue the middles, then we'll cut the page edges. Wow, that really did tax my brain. So, tacky glue, we don't want you, we want the glue stick. There you are. Look, no lid on. Why would I put lid on my glue stick? I'll just rest on here to do the glue in. That really didn't need to be so long, actually. But it's this long now, isn't it? And same with this one. Didn't need to be that long, but that's how long it is. I could have cut that off and made another scrap, actually. But I think you'll agree, I've got enough scraps. Right, so that's that. Move the prototype out of the way. Now I actually know what I'm doing. Do I know what I'm doing? Why is this taxing my brain so much? Right, let's get the centre fold. The centre fold. This is a tutorial on. <laughs> oh, wow. So there we go. No, that's not it. What have I done wrong? Get your prototype out, woman. Right. That's it. I put that one back to front. Oh, lordy. That's that page. Oh, wow, well, sir. So can you see everyone? That's it. Oh, wow, why did that tax my brain so much? 
maybe today wasn't the day for making interactive pages I'm going to glue it now before I forget what I did so I'm going to glue that there glue that there make sure that crease goes into the crease that's already there or you'll have a big gap in your page and it won't work properly I remember that much then glue that down then turn over I've got this pocket here wowzer glue along there I think we can see it glue there and glue there we go glue that open it up make sure it's flat that's wow right now i'm going to get my chopper and chop this down so it's nice and neat so i always start from that creased edge because we know that's square we know that's what we want and i'm just going to take a sliver off here just to straighten these top edges up and then I'm going to turn it like so and do that same thing on the bottom I don't want to cut all the glue off or it's not going to be held together anymore is it that's that then I want those two pages roughly the same because I do think that works better than most of the time in a journal if the front and back are each pair match and how wide is this going to be right we seem to be having a lot of pages that are about five or we did one that were four and five eighths i think i'm going to do this one just over four and three quarters this is a page we can always cut down if we want to so we've got nothing on the edge wowzer why did that tax my brain so much so turn it right way around now we have a page with two pockets if you don't believe me <laughs> There we go, we've got one there, turn it again, and we've got one there. That one, that one, mad how long that took me. And again, just sew around the edges. So, I'm going to leave that video there. Wowza, that took some doing. I'll sew around that edge ready for next time. So that's two more interactive pocket pages. Is that the new one I've made? That's the new one I've made for our journals. And I'll be back soon with some more work on this Butterfly Junk Journal. So thank you very much for joining me. See you next time. Bye.